He has experienced every phase of aviation and continues to do so. Wichita, Kansas, and as everyone knows, Wichita, there were many airplanes built there. When I was 12 years old, uh, an airport was put on my grandmother's farm in Wichita, and I started really flying. From Kansas skies to global skies. By the time I was 19, I had 1,500 hours, and it was hired by United Airlines as a co-pilot on DC-3s. Clay answered his country's call. I found out about the California Air National Guard and going to Air Force pilot training. About that time, I met Al Paulson, and in a very short time, we got involved with business aviation. So my first exposure to corporate flying and business aviation was in 1957. And uh, DC-3s, like the one behind me here, were still big. Business aviation had to get into jets. Bill Lear realized that, and he built the um, Learjet. In the industry, we call him Mr. Learjet because Clay's been involved with the Lear since its very inception. Probably my best NBA was 1965, when I had the only jet, uh, corporate jet there giving demonstrations. We were giving everybody we could flights in the Lear. When Gates bought Lear in 1968, I wanted to stay in it. So I first leased the Lear for a year and started my charter company. Then I bought my first Lear in 1970. We built it up from one Lear to two to three. And then about 95 got into the management business and we now uh, manage or operate over 60 jet airplanes. Clay Lacey and putting a man on the moon. One of my very close friends was uh, Jack Conroy. 1961, he uh, came up with a guppy, the pregnant guppy to carry uh, Saturn boosters from California to Cape Kennedy. I made the first flight and Warner Von Braun said the guppy was the single most important thing in getting men on the moon in the decade of the 60s. I started air racing at the first Reno race in 1964. I continued flying the races through 1992. I was usually second or third, but I won in 1970, became the national champion. In 1988, Clay set a world speed record in a Boeing 747 donating over a half million dollars to children's charities. And flew around the world from Seattle to Athens to Taipei, back to Seattle in 36 hours and 54 minutes with 140 people total on board. With over 40 years of flying the friendly skies, Clay retired number one in seniority. Clay has clearly earned the title of Aviation's Mr. Hollywood. I've actually flown over 3,000 photo flights. We've filmed virtually every airline in the world. Most manufacturers, Cessna, Gulfstream, Bombardier. And I've done several movies. I've worked on over 50 uh, Hollywood type movies. Clay has always been a big supporter of business aviation. After six decades, with over 53,000 flight hours in more than 300 types of aircraft, Clay's skilled hands continue to command the skies. Congratulations on being the 2011 recipient of the NBAA Meritorious Service to Aviation Award.